the Green Party, and Comhantas Glass Irish, Comhantas Glass, literally, Green Alliance, is a green political party that operates in Ireland. Both the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland. It was founded as the Ecology Party of Ireland in 1981 by Dublin teacher Christopher Fettis. The party became the Green Alliance in 1983, it adopted its current English name in 1987, while the Irish name was kept unchanged. Its leader is Eamon Ryan, its deputy leader is Catherine Martin and its chairman is Roderick O'Gorman. Green Party candidates have been elected to most levels of representation, local in the Republic, Dale Éireann, Northern Ireland Assembly and European Parliament. The Green Party first entered the Dale in 1989. It has served in the Irish government once, from 2007 to 2011 as junior partner in a coalition with Fianna Fáil. The party suffered a wipeout in the February 2011 election, losing all six of its TDs. In the February 2016 election, it returned to the Dale with two seats. Following this, Grace O'Sullivan was appointed to the Shannon on 26 April that year. The party gained its first representation in the Northern Ireland Assembly in 2007, the Green Party in Northern Ireland having become a regional branch of the party the previous year. It currently has two representatives in the Assembly. History Early years The party's first electoral outing was at the November 1982 general election when seven candidates contested under the Ecology Party banner, winning 0.2% of the vote. Following a name change, it contested the 1984 European elections, with party founder Roger Garland winning 1.9% in the Dublin constituency. The following year, it won its first election when Marcus Cunahan was elected to Kalani Urban District Council at the 1985 local elections. The party nationally ran 34 candidates and won 0.6% of the vote. The party continued to struggle until the 1989 general election when the Green Party as it was now named won its first seat in Dale Éireann, when Roger Garland was elected in Dublin South. Garland lost his seat at the 1992 general election, while Trevor Sargent gained a seat in Dublin North. In the 1994 European election, Patricia McKenna topped the poll in the Dublin constituency and Nuala Ahern won a seat in Leinster. They retained their European Parliament seats in the 1999 European election, although the party lost five councillors in local elections held that year despite an increase in its vote. At the 1997 general election, the party gained a seat when John Gormley won a Dale seat in Dublin South East. At the 2002 general election the party made a breakthrough, getting six Teach Tai Dala TDs elected to the Dale with 4% of the national vote. However, in the 2004 European election, the party lost both of its European Parliament seats. In the 2004 local elections, it increased its number of councillors at county level from 8 to 18 out of 883 and at town council level from 5 to 14 out of 744. Topic: <laughs> Term in government. The Green Party entered government for the first time after the 2007 general election, held on 24 May. Although its share of first preference votes increased at the election, the party failed to increase the number of TDs returned. Mary White won a seat for the first time in Carlo Kilkenny, however, Dan Boyle lost his seat in Cork South Central. The party had approached the 2007 general election on an independent platform, ruling out no coalition partners while expressing its preference for an alternative to the outgoing coalition of Fianna Fáil and the Progressive Democrats. 
Neither the outgoing government nor an alternative of Fine Gael, Labour and the Green Party had sufficient seats to form a majority. Fine Gael ruled out a coalition arrangement with Sinn Féin, opening the way for Green Party negotiations with Fianna Fáil. Before the negotiations began, Kieran Cuff TD wrote on his blog that, "...a deal with Fianna Fáil would be a deal with the devil, and the Green Party would be decimated as a party." The negotiations were undertaken by Donald Gagan, the party's general secretary, Dan Boyle, and the then party chair John Gormley. The Green Party walked out after six days. This, Gagan later said, was owing to there not being enough in the deal to allow the Green Party to continue. The negotiations restarted on the 11th of June. A draft program for government was agreed the next day, which under party rules needed 66% of members to endorse it at a special convention. On the 13th of June 2007, Green members at the Mansion House in Dublin voted 86% in favour, 441 to 67, with two spoilt votes of entering coalition with Fianna Fáil. The following day, the six Green Party TDs voted for the re-election of Bertie Ahern as Taoiseach. New party leader John Gormley was appointed as Minister for the Environment, Heritage and Local Government and Eamon Ryan was appointed as Minister for Communications, Energy and Natural Resources. Trevor Sargent was named Minister of State for Food and Horticulture. Before its entry into government, the Green Party had been a vocal supporter of the Shell to Sea movement, the campaign to reroute the M3 motorway away from Tara and, to a lesser extent, the campaign to end United States' military use of Shannon Airport. After the party entered government there were no substantive changes in government policy on these issues, which meant that Eamon Ryan oversaw the Corrib gas project while he was in office. The Green Party had, at its last annual conference, made an inquiry into the irregularities surrounding the project see Corrib gas controversy a precondition of entering government but changed its stance during post-election negotiations with Fianna Fáil. The 2008 budget, announced on 6 December 2007, did not include a carbon levy on fuels such as petrol, diesel and home heating oil, which the Green Party had sought before the election. A carbon levy was, however, introduced in the 2010 budget. The 2008 budget did include a separate carbon budget announced by Gormley, which introduced new energy efficiency tax credit, a ban on incandescent bulbs from January 2009, a tax scheme incentivizing commuters' purchases of bicycles, and a new scale of vehicle registration tax based on carbon emissions. At a special convention on whether to support the Treaty of Lisbon on the 19th of January 2008, the party voted 63.5% in favor of supporting the treaty, this fell short of the party's two-third majority requirement for policy issues. As a result, the Green Party did not have an official campaign in the first Lisbon Treaty referendum, although individual members were involved on different sides. The referendum did not pass in 2008, and following the Irish government's negotiation with EU member states of additional legal guarantees and assurances, the Green Party held another special convention meeting in Dublin on 18 July 2009 to decide its position on the second Lisbon referendum. Precisely two-thirds of party members present voted to campaign for a «yes» in the referendum. This was the first time in the party's history that it had campaigned in favor of a European treaty. The government's response to the post 2008 banking crisis significantly affected the party's support, and it suffered at the 2009 local elections, returning with only three county council seats in total and losing its entire traditional Dublin base, with the exception of a town council seat in Balbriggan. Deirdre de Berka, one of two Green senators nominated by Taoiseach Bertie Ahern in 2007, resigned from the party and her seat in 2010, in part owing to the party's inability to secure her a job in the European Commission. On 23 February 2010, Trevor Sargent resigned as Minister of State for Food and Horticulture owing to allegations over contacting Gardai about a criminal case involving a constituent. 
On 23 March 2010, Kieran Cuff was appointed as Minister for Horticulture, Sustainable Travel, Planning and Heritage while the party gained a junior ministerial position with Mary White appointed as Minister for Equality, Human Rights and Integration. The Green Party supported the passage legislation for ECECBIMF financial support for Ireland's bank bailout. On 19 January, the party derailed Taoiseach Brian Cowan's plans to reshuffle his cabinet when it refused to endorse Cowan's intended replacement ministers, forcing Cowan to redistribute the vacant portfolios among incumbent ministers. The Greens were angered at not having been consulted about this effort, and went as far as to threaten to pull out of the coalition unless Cowan set a firm date for an election due that spring. He ultimately set the date for the 11th of March. On the 23rd of January 2011, the Green Party met with Cowan following his resignation as leader of senior coalition partner Fianna Fáil the previous afternoon. The Green Party then announced it was breaking off the coalition and going into opposition with immediate effect. Green Party leader John Gormley said at a press conference announcing the withdrawal, For a very long time we in the Green Party have stood back in the hope that Fianna Fáil could resolve persistent doubts about their party leadership. A definitive resolution of this has not yet been possible. And our patience has reached an end. The government ministerial posts of Gormley and Ryan were reassigned to Fianna Fáil ministers Eamon O'Quiv and Pat Carey respectively. Green Ministers of State Kieran Cuff and Mary White also resigned from their roles. In almost four years in government, from 2007 to 2011, the Green Party contributed to the passage of civil partnership for same sex couples, the introduction of major planning reform, a major increase in renewable energy output, progressive budgets, and a nationwide scheme of home insulation retrofitting. Wipeout and recovery The party suffered a wipeout at the 2011 general election, with all of its six TDs losing their seats, including those of former ministers John Gormley and Eamon Ryan. Three of their six incumbent TDs lost their deposits. The party's share of the vote fell below 2%, meaning that they could not reclaim election expenses, and their lack of parliamentary representation led to the ending of state funding for the party. The party candidates in the 2011 election to the Shannath were Dan Boyle and Niall O'Brolchain, neither was elected, and as a result, for the first time since 1989 the Green Party had no representatives in the Oireachters. Eamon Ryan was elected as party leader on 27 May 2011, succeeding John Gormley. Catherine Martin, a former Carrick Macross town councillor, was later appointed deputy leader, while Kieran Cuff and Mark Deary were also placed on the party's front bench. In the 2014 European election, the party received 4.9% of the vote nationally, an increase of 3% on the 2009 result, failing to return a candidate to the European Parliament. In the 2014 local elections the party received 1.6% of the vote nationally. Twelve candidates were elected to county councils, an increase of nine. At the 2016 general election the Green Party gained two seats, becoming the first Irish political party to lose all seats at an election and win seats at the subsequent election. In the subsequent election to Shannath Aaron, Grace O'Sullivan became the first elected Green Party senator, winning a seat of the Agricultural Panel. She established the Civil Engagement Group with five independent senators. On 30 May 2016, the Green Party joined the Social Democrats to form a technical group in the Dale. In the 2019 local elections, the Green Party saw significant gains, increasing their number of councillors from 12 to 49 and becoming the second largest party on Dublin City Council. At the concurrent 2019 European Parliament election former TD Kieran Cuff was elected to represent the Dublin constituency, giving the Greens representation in the European Parliament for the first time since 2004. <laughs> <laughs> Ideology and policies 
While strongly associated with environmentalist policies, the party also has policies covering all other key areas. These include, protection of the Irish language, lowering the voting age in Ireland to 16, a directly elected Shannath, support for universal healthcare, and a constitutional amendment which guarantees that the water of Ireland will never be privatised. The party also advocates that terminally ill people should have the right to legally choose assisted dying, on which subject it believes. Provisions should apply only to those with a terminal illness which is likely to result in death within six months. It also states that, such a right would only apply where the person has a clear and settled intention to end their own life, which is proved by making, and signing, a written declaration to that effect. Such a declaration must be countersigned by two qualified doctors. Topic: Organization. The National Executive Committee is the organizing committee of the party. It comprises the party leader Eamon Ryan, the deputy leader Catherine Martin, the chair Roderick O'Gorman, the Young Greens representative, the treasurer, and ten members elected annually at the party convention. Topic: Leadership. The party did not have a national leader until 2001. At a special, "...leadership convention," in Kilkenny on 6 October 2001, Trevor Sargent was elected the first official leader of the Green Party. He was re-elected to this position in 2003 and again in 2005. The party's constitution requires that a leadership election be held within six months of a general election. Sargent resigned the leadership in the wake of the 2007 general election to the 30th Dale. During the campaign, Sargent had promised that he would not lead the party into government with Fianna Fáil. At the election the party retained six Dale seats, making it the most likely partner for Fianna Fáil. Sargent and the party negotiated a coalition government. At the 12th of June 2007 membership meeting to approve the agreement, he announced his resignation as leader. In the subsequent leadership election, John Gormley became the new leader on the 17th of July 2007, defeating Patricia McKenna by 478 votes to 263. Mary White was subsequently elected as the deputy leader. Gormley served as Minister for the Environment, Heritage and Local Government from July 2007 until the Green Party's decision to exit government in December 2010. Following the election defeats of 2011, Gormley announced his intention not to seek another term as Green Party leader. Eamon Ryan was elected as the new party leader, over party colleagues Phil Kearney and Councillor Malcolm Noonan in a postal ballot election of party members in May 2011. Monaghan-based former Councillor Catherine Martin defeated Down-based Dr John Barry and former Senator Mark Deary to the post of deputy leader on of June 2011 during the party's annual convention. Roderick O'Gorman was elected party chairperson. The Green Party lost all its Dale seats in the 2011 general election. Party chairman Dan Boyle and Deirdre de Berka were nominated by the Taoiseach to Shannath Aaron after the formation of the Fianna Fáil Progressive Democrats Green Party government in 2007, and Niall O'Brolchain was elected in December 2009. De Berka resigned in February 2010, and was replaced by Mark Deary. Neither Boyle nor Obrolchain was re-elected to Shannath Aaron in the Shannath election of 2011, leaving the Green Party without Oireachta's representation until the 2016 general election, in which it regained two Dale seats. <laughs> <laughs> Irish and European politics The Green Party is organised throughout the island of Ireland, with regional structures in both the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland. 
The Green Party in Northern Ireland voted to become a regional partner of the Green Party in Ireland in 2005 at its annual convention, and again in a postal ballot in March 2006. Brian Wilson, formerly a councillor for the Alliance Party, won the Green Party's first seat in the Northern Ireland Assembly in the 2007 election. Stephen Agnew held that seat in the 2011 election. Topic: Election results. Topic: Dale Aaron. Topic: Devolved Northern Ireland legislatures. Topic: Westminster. Topic: European Parliament. Topic: See also. Category: Green Party, Ireland politicians. Green Party. Green politics Young Greens List of environmental organisations List of political parties in the Republic of Ireland